Um, actually, the one carry I like to play a lot is Phantom Assassin, but she's not really. I think she's thing. actually okay. You could pick her. She's okay. Play. Yeah, okay. I think she's okay. I almost said her, but I wasn't completely sure if I should. But I actually, I think she's okay. Okay. Go for um, PA. Another thing that you should know is that because I played a lot of support, my last hitting is quite bad. Okay, that's fine. I'll just yeah. try to close my eyes every time you're about to last hit, and then <laughs> oh. I'm okay. mad about it. Just make sure you pick it pretty fast and click on the lane. That way they know you're going there. Okay, perfect. Um, what do you do for a skill build on Phantom Assassin? Uh, for a skill build, I go for... I'm not really sure. Um, I add 1-1-1 one, one, one first. Okay. No, I go... Wait, no, no, I go 1... Um... I'm not sure, because I haven't played like Phantom Assassin for quite a while, but... What I normally do is I go for dagger. I go two points into dagger, one point. No, uh, two points into dagger, two points into blur, one point into the blink, and then ulti. Okay, I think that's not a good skill build. Okay. Um, you should probably max dagger first because you can last okay. hit with it, and the slow is mm -hmm. pretty nice. Yeah. Um, you can also crit, which uh, oh, yeah. on, well on the dagger now, which is pretty cool. Two levels okay. of blur doesn't make sense. It's really good mm -hmm. at with one point because it gives you twenty percent evasion, but the second point right. only increases your evasion by five percent. So you're okay. you're getting very very little value. You have to realize okay. that five percent is one out of every twenty five attacks will mm -hmm. get dodged now because you've been mm -hmm. put an extra skill point in that, and that's really not worth it at all. Um, mm -hmm. It's much better to decrease your blink cooldown. Um, so okay. usually the skill build that everybody goes is four four one. Max Dagger mm -hmm. first, Max mm -hmm. Blink second, and Prepare somewhere along the battle. way, usually level 4, you'll get at least one blur. It really depends okay. on your lane, though. Starting an item build, grab a Stout Shield. Okay. And a Salve Tango. Okay. And three Ironwood Branches, or two. Two Ironwood Branches. And then go to the top lane. Okay. The reason we get a Stout Shield uh -huh. is because eventually your supports will probably pull, and you'll be tanking yeah. Creeps Under Tower. So. Okay. So you'll need for that. What was the question you were yeah. going to ask? No, normally I get... <laughs> Um, a stout shield, calling blade, and tangos. Okay. Yeah. That works, but it's pretty greedy because if you do run mm -hmm. into a dual lane setup, you're not going to have enough regen. The quelling blade obviously okay. helps you last hit, but you're going to burn through one set of tangos so fast if you get in a bad lane, and I just don't think it's safe in pubs. Okay. Um, and like, is this correct? Like, what I normally do is I check for rune. Or do you... um, as a carry, usually you are the one that sits to block, and your supports will okay. check the rune for you, especially because if they die, it's whatever you lose the support. Not a mm -hmm. carry. Um, okay. So usually you're going to be waiting. Your, your witch doctor, for example, is wasting his time. He should be the checking. Yeah. Be but luckily your lichen's doing it. So basically you have a okay. dual lane here. It's There's a good shot that you'll either be versus a solo potum or a dual lane. So this might mm -hmm. not be the easiest lane ever. Um, again, we're going to probably get dagger level 1, blink level 2, dagger level 3, because we okay. want the dagger to be strong pretty fast, and probably blur level 4. And then we'll okay. max out dagger, grab your ulti, and then mm -hmm. finish Phantom Strike, because we want the okay. cooldown on that to be very low, if possible. Okay. Um, but it, I like the 1-1-1 one, one, one idea with mm -hmm. Blur, but unless you're getting a lot of harass, if you're a dual melee range a lane versus a dual range lane, okay, this is exactly what's happening. I would mm -hmm. possibly get Blur at level 2, but probably mm -hmm. at level 3. This game, it's going to be okay. So for now, just try to get last hits with Stifling Dagger. That's what you should be aiming for. Oh, damn. It's okay. Hopefully Witch Doctor doesn't die. This is pro oh yep he's dead saw that one coming. Uh, um you can yeah he's dead don't worry about him. Bad positioning by him you guys ran out of creeps and he stayed around so just try to focus on last hits. Oh god this is so bad. It's okay. <coughs> it's not an easy lane by any means. Uh, um since you guys already died once I would say definitely get blur at level two. Okay. Maybe not. Um, just go blink. Okay. That's probably smarter to get blink because you can blink to your ally. Okay. I would use one tango. Unfortunately, your lichen is just killing your jungle camps, and that means mm -hmm. you can't pull. But as long as you guys yeah. sappy XP, this is going to be okay. So, this is okay. at least going to demonstrate the principles that you guys are going to run into constantly in pub games. Which is, okay. you're going to expect lanes that really shouldn't be there. Watch for the arrow. Your last hitting is not bad, honestly. You're doing fine, I think. Okay. Except for that one. That one sucked. Yeah. Okay, so I should get blur? <laughs> yeah, I would get blur here because they have two okay. ranged heroes. It gives yeah. you... A fifth of their attacks are going to miss you now. Mm-hmm. 
So I think that's that's too good to pass up. Although the, the extra last hitting from Dagger would be nice. I think the Blur is mm -hmm. too good to pass up. You know, I dare say. That, yeah, you could have daggered that one. I think you can get it. Nope, I was uh, wrong. All right. Luckily, they're really oh, bad. Just get it. Oh, no. You worked so hard for it. It's too bad. Yeah, it's okay. Maybe I maybe should probably get a second dagger because your last hitting would improve. It's, yeah. Um. Should I should I get a command shield or just get um, You're not really taking that much harass. They're mostly just pushing the lane, which is actually. Mm -hmm. What is this guy doing? Uh, you could actually really? go on that guy. It's a little late now. No, 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 not that guy. Uh, you should have oh, gone on okay. the bottom. The bottom got okay. maledicted and stunned. He was at half mm -hmm. HP. That was the guy you should have yeah, gone on. That was a mistake. It was basically Witch Doctor wanted shit to happen, and he tried to force it, and that was pretty stupid of him. Mm -hmm. You might still be able to go pot him. Can you keep an? You need to move your camera on her. There you go. Right. We need to see what she's at. That's 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 a problem. Like my, I don't know. I just can't seem to. Like I'm not not sure how to you know place my camera. That's your, not a... your camera was pretty good. That was the only moment so far that I've seen okay. you put it in the wrong spot. If you're if you miss a last still like that, don't be afraid to dagger immediately afterwards. It's okay. one of the tools you have. It costs you very so little should... mana. So I should get another point into dagger, right? Yes, you're gonna be maxing dagger now, because it'll help you last hit okay. and other things. So yeah, your camera's perfect right here. This is exactly what you need to do. There you go, nice. Which doctor mm -hmm. might be going in? Be prepared for this. If he goes in okay. and he maledicts the bottom, you're gonna have to blink in. Dagger first, then blink in. Okay. He, yeah, the, I think the, she just wasted an arrow. The bottom will probably just leap, but. Okay. I think you're gonna have to go in. If he goes in, you're gonna have to go in, because otherwise he's just gonna get blown up. Oh, look at it go! Yeah, you should definitely kill that guy, blink and everything. No, I think it's too late now. Ah, shit. Just keep running, you're gonna be okay. Alright, and when you get a sec, just Your salve up. Tower is under um, next time, when you guys are that close to possibly initiating, I would have saved mm -hmm. your dagger. Because you were in front of that creep, you could have last hit it. Yeah. And then you would have had your dagger for the storm, and you could have gotten an extra two or three hits off on the storm. Okay. So that was a slight mistake. Okay. Missing middle. Nice shot. So what items would you recommend, like, for... Phase boots PA? first, always. always. Okay. Unless you get a Midas for whatever reason, Missing you should always middle. go phase first. Okay. okay. Dagger again? Perfect. Because the amount of damage it increases your ulti crit by is so much. And helps you last hit, and you can awesome. chase better. It just, it's all around a really good item for PA. Okay. You might be able to squeeze by. No, no, you can't. No, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. I kind of want you to get your boots, but. Yeah, I know. I. Just keep last hitting. Uh, you middle. should dagger that one. A little oh, bit. Shit. You gotta plan ahead. You have, you do a ton okay. of damage now. It's 140 mm -hmm. pure, so mm -hmm. that's like, it's like four auto attacks right now. Okay. Great, right now I would have daggered. There, that works too. If you think it's going to be a hard last hit like that one, just dagger it. Might as well. Okay, okay. Yeah, but you. The, the, another thing is that you run out of mana. Like, I yeah. only have like 100 mana, yeah. That's true. You could ask for Bloodseeker to gank, though. He's level 6 already. Um, see if he'll come top. This would be a perfect time for him to come. Okay. You're going to have to retype that because only I saw that because it's like typing student teacher. Uh -huh. Okay, uh... When you open the chat middle. window, just, uh, um, you'll have to click the checkbox. Okay. Hopefully he comes. If he mm -hmm. does, he should go on the storm. Mm -hmm. I think. Maybe the bottom. Either one is honestly fine. Um, we'll see what level Lycan is as well. Lycan is still level 3, so he's not gonna okay. come. You might... That guy looks dead. Yeah, he's dead. No. Oh god, there's a nice soccer too. Careful. If they if they dive you, you have to go up. Go here. If they dive you. And then run into the trees. You might want to dagger this creep to get its HP low. I I wasn't quite the time to die, uh, to, to run away there, I think. And also you lost right. EXP on two or three creeps. Like, him standing here is a little scary. That's good, that's good. Blink on that. Perfect. That helps so much. Mm -hmm. So despite the lane sucking, all of a sudden you just have to wait, wait and be patient. Not yeah. die until the mid comes. When the mid comes, mm -hmm. that's a dead hero, and you can start to catch up. Okay. Yeah, like normally my games aren't this good. <laughs> like the coaching is really helping a lot. Good. Mm. Uh, definitely buy phase boots now. See if you okay. have any money. Grab a magic stick, stick? as well. Okay. 
Yeah. I would normally tell you to get a Basie and possibly a, a Vlad's, but... Sorry, what? I'm sorry, what did you say? Sorry, what do you, like, what you, you what do you say, the, uh, I would before you said Vlad's? I, Basie, or Basilius. Oh, oh, I would okay, sometimes okay. tell you to get that item, but since there's a Lycan, he's going to get a Vlad's, therefore it's going to be uh, worse. Yeah. This Bloodseeker should not be in your lane anymore, hopefully he leaves. It's not a huge deal, but it would be nice if he left, mm -hmm. unless he's almost covered. But normally, again. normally I don't get Vlad's on PA. I actually like it quite a bit. Um, okay. The the Dominator is more commonly purchased by pubs, but uh -huh. I don't necessarily think that's the right choice because the Vlad's okay. is nice because you sometimes want a Basilius so that you can have more mana regen, and it's a nice upgrade. It gives your teammates armor. As a whole, like a Vlad's is much better for your team. If you're going Battle mm -hmm. Fury build, though, oh, sorry. Shit. If you're going Battle Fury build, I would do just kill the bottom. You got him. Just dagger and blink. Or maybe don't blink, but dagger him for sure. Alright, perfect. Run now. Go Tango. Nice. Perfect. You you might just keep juking. Run in circles like this. You might want to stay though, because he's probably still here. His ability to kill you is going to be very low. Alright, just don't run into the Vortex and you might get him. Perfect. Oh, that was perfect. Great job. See, like, he was probably going to be baited out to you. You're going to have to go mm -hmm. back to base now, but mm -hmm. getting yeah. that kill helps your team so much. That was really well okay. done. Um, yeah, if the, he already used pull, so his only chances of killing you were if he landed two remnants. So you mm -hmm. were fairly safe there. That was good. Okay. Um, what was uh, I talking um, about before? Um, so I need to get a basey and then... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Vla um, the Vlad's is, is pretty nice because it gives mm -hmm. you a lot more physical survivability. So mm -hmm. if they have physical heroes, then they're it's really hard for them to kill you because of Blur. Um, but I, I was going to say, the only reason I think Helm of the Dominator is better than Vlad's is if you go mm -hmm. Battle Fury, Phantom Assassin. If you yeah, go I Battle Fury, then yeah, Helm of the Dominator is better. Okay. I don't like that build personally. I think it's too expensive. Um, mm -hmm. I would buy a Bracer now, by the way. Oh, you Bracer? Yep, buy a Bracer. Oh, I have not bought a Bracer on PA before, but okay. Today's the day. The reason I think, uh, and you should also TP top by another TP scroll before you okay. TP. Um, go in the fountain first, because you need that 75 mana pretty big on yeah. this hero. Uh, PA is one of the worst int gains in the game. It's one int mm. per level, so it's pretty oh, okay. important that you get it. Alright, now that Sand King's here, you should keep last hitting. Don't let him steal mm -hmm. all the last hits, if you can. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. If uh, he gets okay. a burrow strike off, just go right in. Okay. So so now should I get a drums or? Yeah, like... we're gonna have you get a drums for two reasons. Okay. Partially, your mana pool is a little low, mm -hmm. um, but also because PA is a hero that can fight constantly. She's mm -hmm. limited yeah, by true. an eight second cooldown, right? So yeah. you can basically jump in. You can use Phantom Strike to attack four times really fast, and then you can mm -hmm. escape again, and you can um, jump back in mm -hmm. at a moment's notice because your your initiation range is so high. So if you get mm -hmm. phase boots and drum, you can jump in and out of battle really quickly, and a drum is so inexpensive that it makes you really strong early. You should go on that guy. Just keep going after him. I think you got them. Alright, you're dead. That was really well done by the AA. Wow, that sucked. Mm. They saw that one coming. Yeah. Also, the uh, the stun from the Witch Doctor was a moment too late, was the other problem. Yeah. So It's okay. But yeah, the reason that we buy Drum is it makes you really strong in the early game. Mm -hmm. It gives you a moderate amount of HP and damage. Um, PA is a little too squishy, so it, it just makes you a really strong early game hero, which is one yeah. of PA's advantages. She is a yeah, late game rich. carry, but she's yeah. also pretty strong between level 7 and level 11 or so. She can actually okay. do quite a bit. Um, okay, so, so should I go like should I go back top or what? Yeah, just run back top. We're gonna go back and okay. try to get more farm. You, that fight would have gone okay, honestly, if the mm -hmm. witch doctor was paying attention and landed to stun after the burrow strike, and if you guys didn't get AI's blasted, it was a nice play yeah. by the A. I think it, it landed perfectly to all three of you guys. Yeah. So. Um, because like normally when I play PA, like or when I play a lot of heroes, I just follow guides. Um, yeah, that's. That's another thing that I don't really think of item builds. I just follow mm -hmm. guides. I think it's really dangerous to follow item builds of carries because okay. almost all the people, like there's a lot of misconceptions about carries. Support okay. item builds are usually fairly consistent in terms yeah. of item builds, but it's so yeah. important for carries that you get the appropriate item attack. builds and it's going to put you really far behind if you don't. And PA is probably the most commonly badly built carry in the game because mm -hmm. people just go brown boots into Battle Fury and it's the worst build ever. Because you basically get no damage until you hit 4,000 gold. You should be going on this, by the way. Just immediately. Go on him. Alright. Well, you're in the trees. Try to get somebody to stay by you. 
How does this A always know? You can dagger any of these guys, but blink, blink to your creep when you can. If you can. Can you blink to your range creep? Right. Mm. Yeah. Go try to dagger. Oh man, that guy looks really dead. Uh. Oh, he was actually there, okay. I would back, probably it's nighttime. Yeah, just phase out, just run. If, if he burrow strikes, feel free to dagger and go. maybe go back in. At least dagger, though. Okay. Sanking is really confused. Go on Storm, maybe? He's silenced. Oh, nice, you got a crit. Perfect. Alright, wand and run. Good luck! Ah, oh, right. damn. The evasion gods were not with you today. Yep. That's it's okay. okay. That was still good, though. I think that was great. Mm -hmm. This guy might die. Ooh, he's getting HP. He's gonna be... Oh, Bart, let's see if he's slowing up. Yeah, like, there's four people going on him. Yeah. That was yeah, okay, really bad. Um, why don't you buy... Why don't you finish your magic wand, maybe? Because, like, I'm not sure, like... Right, normally, don't... like, when I, when I watch your videos, you, you normally right. see that magic wand is quite... Alright, leave it, leave it as it is here. Um, okay. Sell your Ironwood branch, and you're gonna buy your Rope of the Magi now. And buy one more TP scroll, and then TP back top when you can. Okay. I think in this case it's okay to leave it where it is, because it would only give us a marginal couple more strength. And mm -hmm. I think we wanna just get to drum as fast as we can here. Okay, but but when when would you normally recommend getting Magic Wand? Like, on what kind of heroes? Um, heroes that need mana, or maybe some burst. You can dagger spam this guy. He's got a little regen, but... I would, I would just dagger spam him. Just cast dagger on him. You might be able to get him low. Two okay. more of those with a burrow strike and you might be able to kill him. Okay. Yeah, just focus on last hitting for now. The camera position is really bad right there. Okay. Your middle tower is under attack. Stone feed. Okay, I'm gonna back. Uh, I think that's safe. I wish the Sand King wasn't just pushing the lane so much. He's taking mm -hmm. a lot of last hits from you. Who's yeah. this, Bloodseeker? Yeah. yeah, that's Bloodseeker. Okay, so whoever he goes on, at the very least, dagger them. Okay. I don't know where he's running. Possibly towards the Pudge, I guess. No, I think that's too yeah, dangerous. he's going for the Pudge. It's not too bad, actually. Because he, he has a like Haste Rune, but... Oh, okay. It's a little dangerous. Alright, just... Yeah, go try to cover him, I guess. Right. Go back to farming now. Alright, Bloodseeker's got his Radiance now, so he'll be kind of a carry as well this game. Okay. Yeah, yeah. God, I wish this guy would honestly your leave your lane. He's, he's seriously attack. costing you a lot of last hits. This is bad. He's just, like, pushing. Well, I mean, players are like that. Yeah. Perfect. If you would've gotten a crit there, you could've, could've killed him. Shit. <clears throat> oh, look to your right, look to your right. There's a pudge. Dare him. Perfect. That should be a kill now. Perfect. You guys should be able to push with this. But yeah, if you end up buying, going for like straight battle fury before phase boots, you wouldn't have this plus 38 damage that you're working with right now. That's true. So, and you wouldn't have had the wand, which saved you against the uh, storm spirit, and you wouldn't have had the bracer, which barely kept you alive so and so times. Like, mm -hmm. going going for the, the fast uh, Battle Fury build is is probably only worth it if you have complete free farm. If you're contested in your lane, going Phase Drum is so much better. And it makes okay. you a lot stronger earlier. Um, you could spend some time jungling here. It's not the worst thing. But you don't okay. have any regen is the problem. So... It's okay, I think I can... You can take this fine, yeah. With your Stuff Shield, it'll be no problem. Alright. Most of your damage is coming from Howl right now, but still, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's not bad right now. So from here, we're going to choose your damage item. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, just run right. You might want to drum as well. Use your drum. Alright, you might be able to swing around and jump on this guy now. Just watch for the A. There's also some action going on here. I think that guy looks dead, though. But yeah, he's definitely right, you dead. You should definitely leave the jungle now. I thought there was a chance that you could turn around because of the lichen, but mm -hmm. it's not looking good. No. Yeah. Is this dangerous if I farm mid? Because um, 
they're all here. Yeah, yeah, that's dangerous. Yeah, okay, then I'll go bot. This lichen is crazy. The one thing I don't so like when, like when like I see people, other people playing supports is that like um, is when we don't have wards. Like normally when when um, I'm playing support, mm -hmm. I try to always make sure that they're never on. You know, they're never like on cooldown. I mean, sorry, they're always on cooldown. Yeah. Go for this tower right now. Just hit it. Yeah, I will. Like right now, just go ahead. Oh, right now. Okay. Wait, wait, wait for one more catapult. Right, there you go. It was low enough where you could just kill it. Okay. That was good. Okay. Um, yeah, th there should be wards on the map, but they're not doing it. You can ask them. Friendly reminder to buy wards or something. But um, Also, you're sanking as a blink dagger now, so that means that you guys should be able to just crush a lot of people now. You might want to TP top. It looks like there's some stuff going on. Oh, okay. There's going to be a, a Mirana over here. He's probably gone, so you can go back to farming. Very likely. Uh, okay, well. I, uh, maybe. All right, just chase. He's gonna have a blink in a second. All right, don't no, don't go now. There's two heroes. Here. <clears throat> yeah. All right. From here on out, you have um, a couple of decisions that you can make with your mm -hmm. with your skill build. You can either finish. Well, you'll finish blink no matter what. But you yeah. can either get more blur levels or you can go stats instead. Okay. It might be better this game to go stats. Um, and also, oh, okay. you can blink blink strike on these when you're hitting big creeps. Oh, right. Because they'll die a lot faster when you're jungling. Um, right. It might be better if you go for stats later. Oh, sorry. Because they have so many nukes. Um, I misclicked. That's okay. Yeah, um, okay. I would just so... uh, wait wait till creeps respawn. Um, you might... Mm, let's see if a Vlad's. He does. Uh, why don't you... I feel like you kind of need lifesteal, so maybe you should buy a Mask of Death over here. Yeah, I will. We could go, like... Helm of the Dominator isn't the worst thing in the world here. Ah, it's kind of bad. Wait, don't get it. All right, don't get it. I vote don't get it. Just, okay. Just keep jungling, and when your HP gets a little low, you can go somewhere else. Yeah, just jungle for a while, I think. That's the best thing. I don't want you to get lifesteal because they have an A. So lifesteal is probably okay. not going to work very well this game. It might be better if you just go BKB first. On the Sorry, I don't, I don't, I don't understand why lifesteal isn't going to be good. Just because they have an A on their team. <clears throat> because A's ulti prevents you from healing, which means that during team fights, oh, it's okay, only okay. going to be an armor and HP item. Right. So a lot of that gold yeah. is going to be wasted. The okay. downside to not having life steal is that you can't just endlessly jungle and always be full HP. Yeah, so if that, a fight started, you'd be at seventy percent HP right now, which is bad. Mm -hmm. But I just don't think you can afford to invest in a Helm of the Dominator this game because you guys are okay. kind of behind. You just okay, keep so jungling. You, think... you could have done mud golems. Just keep. Just keep jungling. Yeah, yeah. Oh, if yeah. there's nothing happening right now, just keep jungling. As a carry, you don't really need to be aiming to start fights. That should be okay. your support's job usually, unless you have like okay. a big playmaking ulti that'll that'll do something special. Yeah, like faces void or like something. Exactly. Like, right? If if your face is void, you can use your ulti to get a kill, and that's technically farming. But as a phantom assassin, you should just show up to fights that are within your blink dagger range usually, or something that you can assist getting a kill. Just okay. go ahead. Any any jungle camp doesn't really matter that much. The reason I backed there because because I saw the autumn coming and I was like I just got a bit scared. I see. Mm. I would finish one more camp and then I'd go heal. Okay. Use dagger as well. You might as well. You misclicked there. You see, you lost your attack yeah. speed. Go heal. Okay. I would buy your Mythful Hammer first. Um, okay. This is going to be for your BKB. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm getting the hammer first in this case because your damage really benefits you. It's mm -hmm. basically like getting another force or another face boots. Mm -hmm. um, HP is not bad. You guys can't fight the bot lane either because you have a bunch of dead yeah. heroes. Otherwise, I would tell you that you should be preparing to fight bottom. Okay. Unfortunately, your allies keep doing really stupid things. Yeah. You might want to TP to the tier 2 tower, though. Okay. Because the Lycan is there. Okay. Just keep an eye on the battle. Go on A. A is the squishy one. Go on him. Perfect. Uh, go on Night Stalker next. Dagger as soon as you can. Blink when you can. Oh, that sucks. That arrow hit you. That's right, you're still gonna get him. Your top tower is under attack. Try to clean up over here. Alright, that went not bad. Yeah. 
it could have been better, but um, I think you did fine. Okay. I, did you dagger the A? I felt like you dagger. I didn't see your dagger yeah. go out. You did? Um, no, no, I didn't. I, I daggered the pudge because I saw somebody going on the pudge, so I was like... Okay, it worked out fine. A died still. Ah, oh, damn. Your top tower is under um, Alright. Storm got your tower for free, which is a little mm. bad, but you guys still won the fight, yeah. which is okay. Don't don't take the creeps here. Remember, you don't okay. have any mana regen or HP regen or lifesteal or anything, so you have to be a little picky with how you lose it. The more okay. the more HP you tank from creeps is time later that you're gonna have to go back and heal in the fountain instead of staying out on the map and farming. Yeah. I would move to this true. camp now. I would take this okay. camp and this camp and then I would go back. Okay. Because this is still fairly safe. Okay. In this area. Oh wow. Well. All right. Well, that's luck, but. <clears throat> So you said you said I should be getting stats, right? Uh, max blink first for sure. Okay. And after this, we might go stats. I'm not entirely sure yet. If we go blink or BKB, you probably don't need stats. But I think if we were skipping BKB, I would sometimes go stats instead. Okay. So your HP is just way too low on this hero. Yeah. In most cases. That's, that's true. Your strength gain is pretty bad. It's the strength gain in int hero usually. Um, I would go like this. Maybe show up mid. Yeah, you should okay. definitely try to show up mid. If a fight starts before you get there, you might have to TP. And definitely try okay. to fly out the... Uh... Oh, you should I TP? Fighting. Take a look. You gotta look first to see what's happening. You can't just, like, okay. look at the map. Just walk in. Don't go in. Uh, Alright, go punch, go punch. Go punch. Am I good? Yeah, kill that guy. He's gonna be a little hard to catch, but if you can get a... Just go on Night Soccer instead. Anybody that you can go on? Your middle tower is Wait, under what? I'm... See, basically, you, your hero kept running between this path because it either wanted to go around or it wanted to go to okay. this way. So your what you needed to do there was... Oops, am I still, mm -hmm. my control button is held down, sorry. Um, what you should have done is just sat in place until you saw okay. a hero. And then you throw the dagger first because okay. dagger gives vision. And then as the dagger was giving vision, you could blink strike. Mm -hmm. Okay. So rather than spending so much... Or just run around. Either one would have worked. Mm -hmm. Alright, you guys can turn this into a push, maybe. Maybe, yeah. If not, um, there's two heroes top. Man, Night Soccer is really farmed. You're kind of close to your BKB, at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just finish out your um, evasion levels now, that's good. I don't okay. think you're going to get this tower. You guys should probably back. You should get out. Back? Okay. Especially with the AI Blast. Plus, there's two heroes here. Don't go this way. Mm -hmm. go, go right. Oh. Okay, I will, I'll go right. Okay, it looks like the Night Stalker is still top. Just head to your jungle now, farm for a little bit. Possibly okay. gank the Night Stalker with your allies. I Just, think I can. I think yeah, we can. Follow the Bloodseeker. Seeker. He's, he's going yeah. for it. If you can rupture this guy, uh, you can kill him. Hopefully he doesn't TP. He might be TPing right here. He's probably teleporting out. Oh, he's still there. Go on him. Yeah, we don't have vision. It's too bad. Almost got him. Mm hmm. He did pop BKB though, which is good. Mm -hmm. And they used Pot of Multi as well. So, not the yeah. worst. Alright, just keep farming until you can finish your Vlads. Okay. Let's Sorry, you mean by BKB? Oh, yeah, yeah. So that's what I meant. Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. Don't forget to Blink Strike on Big Creeps. Okay. So, how long have you been playing um, Dota? Like, four to five played? years, I think. No? Quite okay. A uh, yeah, something like that. Because I remember when I when I started playing Dota, I I, I asked a friend of mine like, how you do I learn? Like I've no last camp and buy BKB. Right? Oh, way. okay. What were you saying? Yeah, like my friend said, he he said, oh, you should watch this guy on YouTube called Purge. I was like, okay. And like since then, I've like almost watched every single one of your videos. Thank you, I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, BKB now, fly it out. BKB. Okay. Um, the way you're gonna use, oop, that might be a fight bot on Illusion. Uh, your HP is a little low, but it's going to be okay. Uh, what you're going to aim to do is, as you blink strike in, pop the BKB. Okay. But only on heroes that are going to stun you. That's the important difference. Mm -hmm. Oh, that guy's still going to die, I think, because BS is always TPing. That was really smart. Grind me down, that guy should not be so low. Right. But anyways, as because you have BKB, you can still be, mm -hmm. you can be really aggressive now. Okay, so basically I blink. I, I mean, I dagger, I blink, and then BKB. Or you can BKB first. It's honestly not that big of a deal. But okay. but what you're protecting against is 
arrows, you're protecting against <coughs> Night Stalker Silence, you're protecting against stuns. Oh, shit. You could fight this guy, Dagram. You should have gone after that. Chase him. You might have to drum as well. I don't exactly know which way he went, though. You should have daggered him at least. Because yeah, that would have kept him in position, and your team was cool. close to you. You could have killed mm -hmm. that guy. Yeah, that's my fault. Can you... There he is. Go on him. Oh no, BKB is too early. Way too early. Just keep right-clicking the, the NS. Can you go and punch? Go and punch. Oh man. Alright, you need to wand and run. Oh, that's too bad. Okay. You got us. You have to save the BKB for when you actually are going to be in a about to be stunned circumstance. Okay. That's basically how it works. You can't just just because he has a stun doesn't mean you need to use it. You need to use it when you're about to put yourself out of position, basically. And you 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 weren't out of position yet because Pudge was by himself here, and your yeah. whole team was here, which meant okay. that. If you initiate on him, even if he dismembers you, your team's going to back you up immediately. <laughs> so the time that you need to save it for is if you jump into three heroes by yourself, mm -hmm. or if you're okay. dueling with Night Stalker, and Night Stalker is really annoying, because um, yeah, he's yeah. going to slow you and nuke you and yeah. all this other stuff. So you, sh you should have saved it. Definitely too early. Yeah. No, I think like that's another problem I have, because I can't. I, my, my reaction time isn't that. Like I can't react fast enough mm -hmm. to a lot of things. Um, yeah, that's that's one thing that I find which makes it really difficult for me to play. That's okay. You'll get there with practice. It just takes mm -hmm. time until you learn. And also, like, on. what do you what do you do in situations where like that whole like they have like three or four people pushing and like there's nobody defending? You sit here and you dagger one creep so that it runs past and then you run away. That's it. So right now, dagger one creep Your and now run. Yo, that'll pull the creep wave back. See, and now if they want to stay and keep pushing, oh my god, your wish doctor is so yellow. Well, he finally did it. Yeah, you can do stuff. Go after whoever. Unfortunately. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, damn. Well, that is just God. too bad. They're all gonna get away. You probably should have gone after the Night Stalker, I think. Because your ability to stop the uh, storm is very, very low. Next mm -hmm. item you're gonna get is probably gonna be an Abyssal Blade, because you need a hard stun against some of these heroes. Okay. So, Bash to Blade Abyssal, right? Yep, that's right. But okay. you guys can keep pushing as a team. This is fine. Just keep going. Okay. What? Uh, <laughs> he abandoned. He's definitely leaving. Well, it's okay. I've, I think I've done that like quite a few times when I initially started out playing Dota. Like I just rage quitted so many times. <laughs> <laughs> if any of them comes up close to your guys, just dagger and go in. Okay. Don't be too worried about the Night Stalker. Just wait till somebody's out of position, closer to your guys than theirs. Okay. Like right there. Yeah. Oh, arrow. Well, just BKB as soon as you can and try to fight. Fight. Perfect. You're gonna have to wand as well. Wand. Oh wow, that doesn't work. Okay. Learn something new today. Sorry? Uh, if you have the AA debuff on you and you're magic immune, the, the wand still doesn't work. The debuff still stops it. You're in a really scary spot. So you have like no HP. You need to TP home right away. Has okay, good. Okay, um, so. Sell your stout shield. You can grab the javelin right now. Okay. And when you're full HP, you can run back mid. Yeah, I think. Or, or run, yeah, run back mid with your team. Yeah. Luckily, your team is actually pushing a lot. Mm -hmm. It's really good that that's they're true. doing this. Actually, this team is like generally much better than how I normally play. Yeah, some games are lucky. I'll see people calling GG at like seven minutes, ten minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really bad. Especially, especially when I play ability drop, because you know, yeah. sometimes when you get bored of playing normal Dota. <laughs> I think they're just all gonna quit now. <laughs> yeah, You're yeah, fine. probably. You can just push. You've got a Vlad's as well, so you have lifesteal even if you lose some HP. Okay. 
That guy's out of position. Your camera movement was really the bad there. That guy should have died. He was standing right here, and you guys were all here. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. you didn't, if you didn't have your camera like this, he he would have died. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Always be looking your camera, like where they're gonna approach from, which is over here. That's how you should have shifted your camera. Okay. Is that all the money? I don't think you need to be here anymore, though. No. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get out. Gonna go. Yeah, that's a good idea, I think. Uh, BKB TP. Yeah, yeah, perfect. That was. I wasn't completely sure if they were following you or not, but I guess they were. Mm -hmm. Um, I would go swing into the jungle for a bit so you can finish okay. your basher. Okay. <clears throat> That was... That was a good decision making though by you. That was mm -hmm. definitely the right move. Because there was no way you were going to get away from that guy. Did he BKB yeah, actually? I think so. I think he might have. I think he did too actually. You maybe could have fought him, but it would have been pretty tough. And his, no, but, his ability... But I, I'm pretty sure I saw fought him behind him. Yeah, she uh, was. Yeah. yeah, and if he if they had stunned me then that would be a definite kill for them. Because mm -hmm. 5 seconds is way too long. Yep. Yeah. Looks like Night Stalker. Oh wow. Okay. That's not good. He's got, he's got an okay item build actually, I think. It's fine. Just keep jungling. I would go from go to these two camps. Okay. Actually they have three levers. Just group with your allies and push. Yeah, that's what I thought. Go here, go here. Try to help. Probably save BKB. Just go in though. Wait for the respawn, and you should kill him. Again, don't use BKB. Use phase after you blink, always. You would have gotten all your hits in already if you did that. Dagger. Alright, you guys should be able to take mid racks now. Mm -hmm. And don't forget a TP when you bring in your basher. Okay. I think you guys had a really good chance of winning this game, despite uh, despite those. Yeah, I think so too. Man, the worst I player on the team just shit talked. This just happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's. that's hard life. My hunger. Power on Phantom Assassin is really good. I like it. Mm -hmm. Your bottom tower is under attack. I didn't. I didn't really realize how good it was. Enemy's middle tower has fallen. You might want to dig at the NS. At least force him to pop BKB. Yeah, you can fight him, I think. You might want to BKB though. There's a good chance you're gonna die here, just run. Face and dagger now. Now that you're safe. Good. Oh nice! That was dangerous, but it worked. <laughs> nice mm -hmm. job. That was good. Yeah, th that's basically how PA should play. Like, you jump in, if you're in a really dangerous spot, you pop BKB, mm -hmm. you run away until they ignore you again, and as soon as they they don't expect you, you just jump back in again. Works out really good. Mm-hmm. Okay. The enemy's middle is okay, I think I'm gonna get out. That's fine. So this is one of the many builds that I think the are okay on PA, but I, I would I could very easily see this exact build in the pro scene. It's happened. Oh, really? It's happened before, yeah. Phase okay. in, phase into drum with a fast BKB mm -hmm. is very common. It gives you enough damage early that your right clicks are a little dangerous, and you get a you get magic immunity that way. You don't just get hard countered by magic makers okay. that are common yeah. in every game. Okay, I wanted to ask you, how long did it take you to play um, to get to play Visage properly? Because I still don't play uh -huh. Visage properly, so a lot. <laughs> okay, Eddie, uh, I mean, like how you play him. Like, how long do you think it would it would take for me to learn how to play Visage? Because it's a hero I really want to play. I mean, really want to learn. How to play. Just keep playing her. That are playing him. That's okay. probably the only way to get good at it, honestly. Because it okay. takes a really long time to get to feel really comfortable with Micro. Um, mm -hmm. And I don't even feel good about him right now, honestly. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it takes a long time to get really, really used to it, but. Just takes practice and practice and practice. Okay. I've probably played the hero close to a hundred times total, and I'm wow. still not very good at it. 
That's yeah. including some Dota one, but okay. Yeah, hundred isn't even that much. I don't think it's a decent amount, but not a huge amount. Okay. Um, I would okay. go heal now, by the way. Yeah. This might be an okay time to pick up life steal, honestly. Okay. Um, if you want to. Um. I don't know if it's worth it though. It's probably not worth I it. But... I don't think so. I think like at this point, it's better for me to just go pure damage, like yeah, with abyssal. I think, I think you're right. It's half of an abyssal, mm -hmm. and that would give you an extra sixty. So. Might as well just play it safe. Yeah. And wait it out. It's too bad because if you did have lifesteal, you would still be jungling right now and you'd be full HP That's and you true. could be mid That's right true. now. There's a lot of stuff that it affords you, but I think you're right. At this point, it's not worth it. Mm -hmm. If you delay it this long, it's not worth grabbing. Yeah. Jimmy's top tower has fallen. Actually, should I sell my uh, stick? My magic stick? No, I think just no? keep it. Okay. What else are you going to put there? I wanted to get dust. Um, like that's, I just realized, uh, I just that's realized nobody, was carrying, nobody was carrying dust the whole game. That's a good idea. You could have done that. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. But in a I normal game, it shouldn't be you buying that. It should be somebody else. Yeah, I know, but like normally, like nobody buys it, and people keep wondering why, why you know, like Ricky keeps owning everybody, yeah. and you can't kill him, and then they realize that nobody buys dust. Try to get to your team, by the way. Okay. Do no, it's not the time to farm. This is a. Uh, this is one of the things you have to do as a carry. Is you have to realize when your team's pushing, you should try to be there. Okay. Enemy's top tower has fallen. Dominating. Hey, can I ask you something? Mm -hmm. Why do you decide to start up coaching again, like after so long? Um. um doing it. When I first started doing coaching, uh, mm -hmm. the way that it was organized was I would get emails and then I would have okay. to respond the to them and tell them times I was available. And okay. they would have to tell me times I they were available and I have to tell them how much it costed. And at least 50% of the people mm -hmm. that messaged me had no interest in paying me. They thought oh, it was wow. just a free thing. So I would basically spend a lot of time answering emails and mm -hmm. doing things like that, which ended up being probably as much time as the coaching and I didn't have a scheduler I'd have to like write it down and I'd have to remember when my dates were and it was just honestly too much time just to do all of that so I finally paid a guy to develop an app for me um, which is what you use to sign up and it just makes my life a lot easier and saves me a lot of time and just gets rid of the 80% 90% people interested in coaching that don't have their schedules match up and aren't interested in paying very much so works on nice. you should be KB by the way but you gotta pay. All right, you're probably gonna die. All right, unless you get a bash. Oh, the bash! No. That was unlucky. He bashed you. It's actually a pretty low chance of him bashing you because of your yeah, vision, but yeah. Um, so that's basically why it was taking me a lot of time to organize when to have sessions and to remember, and it was just a pain mm -hmm. in the butt. The, the website makes everything a lot easier okay. and plan things okay, out a bit more. Yeah, that's basically it. Plus, I have a lot more free time now than oh. maybe not a lot more, but I have more free time now than I have oh. in the past. How come, like, I, I would have thought, like, you know, with you playing in, you know, Korea and playing all those tournaments that you would be busier, like, you know, generally, but... I am, yeah, I am busier, but the, hmm? the lack of the scheduling thing is, is just fine, because okay. then I only have to commit a max of maybe 15, 20 hours a week coaching, mm -hmm. and I don't have to spend the extra 10 hours doing other stuff, so. Okay, plus, okay. plus it doubles the stream time, which is good, so. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So you're gonna stream this? I mean, are you gonna put this on YouTube or? No promises. No promises. Okay. <laughs> I just um, think about it afterwards and decide which everyone's good. This one's honestly pretty informative, I think, but I'm not I'm not sure if I'll put it up. Yeah. Um, I think PA is, or I think you should just save your money and go straight for the abyssal. Just go wait at the secret shop. Mm -hmm. By the time you get there, you'll almost have it. So the order that you should use generally, um, mm -hmm. it's important that you don't use this done immediately upon initiating because you need to account for their reaction time. Okay. Um, most people, especially at your skill level, are going to be really slow at reacting. So as you blink yeah. in, you can probably get at least one or two hits before they realize they're getting hit. And that's okay. when you should abyssal them. Because if you if you jump in and immediately abyssal, you're wasting mm -hmm. two attacks of stun time or re stun okay. plus reaction time. So you need to blink in, hit twice, then abyssal. Something around okay. there. If they start running abyssal, then basically, um, that's that's the best way to do it. Okay. Yeah, and what's what's the point of phase um, phasing right after blinking in? Because as you blink in, mm -hmm. you've already daggered them. Um, mm -hmm. You're in melee range. They're gonna try to run away from you. 
And there's also going to be creeps in the area that are going to get in your way. And that happened that one time when I told you in the mid. You blinked in, but there were so many people there that it was a pain in the butt for you to actually get in melee range. So you had okay. to use phase. So that's usually why. You dagger, you blink, and you press phase. You run faster. Um, you won't get blocked with collision or anything. You're just going to get maximum damage output with your hero. That's why you do it. Okay. The, the other reason you usually grab Abyssal at this point, it's a great damage item, number one. Mm -hmm. um, oops, careful. That BKB was a waste. You shouldn't have done that. You also could have Abyssal that guy. Don't. Uh, your fair. positioning wasn't very good either. It was very easy for you to get hooked where you were standing. Abyssal that guy. Never mind. He's invisible. Alright, just do your best. Okay, I guess the game's over. Um, what were we talking about? Uh, Abyssal? No, before that. You asked me a question. Wow, that guy's such a dick. Can I report him? Can you? Nice, I can. Hmm. Oh, you can? Oh, chat, shit, talker. Nice. Um, yeah, Abyssal's yeah. really good for the, the hard disable, because PA is all soft disable. So if somebody okay. ever gets a TP scroll, Okay. You, they're basically able to escape from you, so Abyssal is mm -hmm. really good for that. The only thing that you're lacking with this build is attack speed. Um, yeah. What I would have told you to buy afterwards is probably an AC immediately next. Um, yeah. That's uh, really good on your hero. And sometimes mm -hmm. you need a butterfly as well if they don't have MKBs, and they don't have MKBs okay. anywhere close because that stack, the evasion now stacks diminishing. Okay. Like so, so, but when would you buy butterfly on PA? Um, like I said, uh, if they are nowhere near a Monkey King bar, you could purchase mm -hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Um, if they don't have heroes, I normally buy MKBs. So an example is, let's say their hard carry is an Obsidian Destroyer, mm -hmm. uh, OD. He never mm -hmm. buys an MKB ever. You could mm -hmm. just purchase that in that in that situation. You could just purchase a Butterfly, <coughs> most likely, because he's okay. not going to be able to hit you. Okay. He's already going to miss for forty percent on your passive, and uh, diminishingly adding the Butterfly puts you somewhere around like sixty percent, I think, which is ridiculous okay. evasion. That means his orb is never going to do damage really. So it's it, in a case like that, it's okay. If it's okay. a normal hard carry who can very easily fit an MKB into their um, items, it'll mm -hmm. give you a timing window where you could just end up crushing team fights, and that's sometimes useful because if if you have a butterfly for a fight and you get like four kills and you don't die, then you're mm -hmm. you're accelerating past butterfly to your next item. And by the time yeah. he finally gets his MKB, you might have yeah. another item on top of him, which mm -hmm. will counteract his carry advantage that you have. So okay. if you can get your butterfly before, like way before they finish their MKB, then okay. you'll pretty much catch them off guard. Not that they shouldn't be building an MKB anyways against PA, but you can catch them off guard with an item that might snowball okay. you for a few <clears throat> fights, and then you can, with that snowball from having the butterfly advantage, you mm -hmm. can grab like an Abyssal Blade, or you can grab a Mjolnir, or you can grab an AC, and then you'll have a butterfly and an AC over them, and they're just catching yeah. up to your butterfly. That's that's All that's. Right. It's a rare circumstance that you get a butterfly mm -hmm. on PA, but when you do, and if you use properly, it can be useful, but almost always, like, I would say 90% of games, you're not going to buy a butterfly on PA. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty much always BKB or like maybe a Yasha or Battle Fury or MKB yeah. first. I've, I've played yeah. Desolator PAs. I actually, that's one of the reasons I really like PA actually is because her item build is so varied. Some games it's mm -hmm. Desolator, some games right. it's going to be Battle Fury, some games it's Phase Drum Vlad's. Um, oh, okay. One game the other day, I went Phase, I went Phase Vlad's Manta, which was pretty fun. Because your wow. illusions can crit with your ulti, right? You yeah, do, yeah. You like dagger, you blink in, and then you pop manta, and then you hit him with your illusions right away. And he's slowed because yeah. of dagger. It's actually pretty good, and your illusions can crit. Um, mm -hmm. It's not a bad build, uh, okay. and it gives you more int and all this other good stuff. I mean, like there's so many different builds you can do on that hero, and it makes him makes her really fun to play. Some games you'll need BKB, some games you won't. It just depends on the game. Her item builds are all over the place. That's one of the reasons. I actually think she's one of my favorite carries. Okay. I really like playing her. So. Mm -hmm. That's what I would recommend. All right. Well, thanks for the coaching session. Yeah, I, no problem. Yeah, Any more questions it. about PA? Uh, no. No, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, I learn a lot um, generally just about playing normally. Okay. Uh, apart from the hero. So thanks a lot. Yep, no problem. If you ever yeah. want to sign up again, just use the website. Um, if you have okay, questions, let me mm -hmm. know on Skype and I can, I can answer them.